What's happening people? I am back in the kitchen again and if this video is coming out then I've actually completed the challenge so I am attempting to do a couple of days or maybe even three days as a vegetarian. This has come across, this has come about sorry, because I noticed that my little multigrain hooplers had a big V sign on this morning for my breakfast so I've had these for my breakfast today uh, and that is a vegetarian sign, vegan sign I don't know. I know there's a difference between the two though, vegetarian and vegan. I know that I could never, ever do this challenge as a vegan. I don't think. Let's see how I get on as a vegetarian and see how many days I can actually do. Um, the reason for this challenge, I was going to do the £10 budget challenge at Marks and Spencers. That is now going to be next week. Um, the reason for this challenge is because the Too Good To Go bag that I did from the hospital, which had all that plant-based stuff in, I got slated in the comments for not trying it. Basically, what I did with that, what, if, I, if I try everything in a Too Good To Go bag, I'm going to have to chuck it away because there's no physical way I could eat all that. Two sandwiches and a pasta thing. So, for me, knowing that I would, it's not my sort of thing, I just put it on the Oleo app. If you don't know what the Oleo app is, it's basically, if you've got, I think it's more than food now, but it used to be just food. If you've got extra food, food waste or something like that, if you've got a bag of pasta or something and you're not going to use it, anything that's coming up to the end of use by day or something that you've, like like in my case, got on a, on a random too good to go or some supermarket substitute or something, you can put it on there and give it away and someone in your area will come and collect it from you. Hopefully someone actually in need, which this lady that collected the two um, plant-based products of my too good to go um, video that you saw on Wednesday, she was very grateful and yeah I, I use the Oleo app a lot to, especially when I'm doing like these challenges because I always have things extra so you're not bothered about that anyway are you? you're here for this challenge so we were just talking this morning me and Mrs Dino and I had these for my breakfast these multigrain hooplers you've seen these on a what I eat in a day these are one of my favorite I like Cheerios but these are a cheap version of Cheerios and there's a big V on it and that obviously means vegetarian or vegan I'm not really sure with that one and uh it's another blisteringly sunny day, so I said to Mrs. Dino, we were walking walking her down to work, and I said to Mrs. Dino, I said, I think you could be vegetarian. And she was like, I'm, I'm, she, sorry, she said to me, I think you could be vegetarian. I said, no. And I always think about that. I think it's Peter Kay who says, man can't live on chips alone. That's me, isn't it? <laughs> um, but I said, you know what? I could try because I was walking down to uh, Morrison's, and I wanted to get some things for a salad because, like I say, it's an absolute red hot day. I don't want any warm food, really. So I went to go get some things for a salad. And now I'm, I'm not talking about one of these fancy pantsy salads. I'm talking about an old school council salad, you know, where everything's separate and there's a dollop of salad cream or salad cream all over it, like your mum used to make. I love that sort of salad. Everything, it's absolutely fantastic. It's coming up anyway, so watch this space. Um, but, yeah, so then I thought, well, I'm having a salad for my lunch. I've had a vegetarian breakfast with just these, these. I, thought, I might as well make a video on it, Anna. But then I thought, I can't just do one day as a vegetarian because anyone can do that. So hopefully, this is either going to be two days or possibly even three. We will see. Right, <clears throat> like I said, it's, uh, it's half ten in the morning now. I've just got back. So I've already had my breakfast. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll see you guys at lunchtime and I'll... Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing what I bought because it's not a budget challenge, this. There is no budget. It's a good job as well because being a vegan or vegetarian is expensive. Um, but I will go through some prices as we go along. But obviously I'm having the salad for my dinner today. So you guys are going to see the salad in, well, now. Because I'm going to fast forward from half ten to half twelve to you guys. And it'll be lunchtime. Okay. So it's lunchtime. Now... I was in Morrison's and I was walking around the, all the fresh salad uh, looking to buy lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes, peppers, um, onion, all that sort of thing. And how expensive is it? And if you don't eat it, because it's salad, it goes off very, very quickly. Especially in my house when I'm the only one who will eat it. The girls are not going to eat any salad at, at all. It's just not happening. Um, so I decided, I did see like a hack, you know, one of these hacks where you can get a meal deal where the, in, in Morrison's, the fresh salad portion of the, um, the fresh salad station where you can pick up the, 
you, you know, your, your plastic tubs of salad, that, the medium salad box in there is included in the meal deal. Now, I thought, and that's, and that's four quid, so I thought, I'm better off doing that. I get a side, I get a drink, and I can get a medium salad, and get everything I want for this challenge, basically was for today. So that's what I did. I got a medium salad box. Um, I got a vegetable samosa, because obviously I'm vegetarian for a few days. So I got a little vegetable samosa, which we could have as a snack, or as a, incorporating something else, we'll see. Um, and I got myself a little uh, Diet Coke with lime, which I've already been drinking on the way home. So yeah, obviously, like I said earlier, you guys, I'm, I'm going to make this, um, I call it a council house salad. It's like what I used to have when I was younger, when my mum and dad made salads at home. Everything else, it's not this fancy salad with all the dressing, everything separate. So basically in this, I mean, we'll open it in a minute and have a look. We've got everything that I need to put on my salad and more. Um, but what we always used to have as well is a little slice of quiche on your salad, beautiful, and some herby little little potatoes. So I got these herby baby potatoes here in the three for two lowest price item three. Um, I'll show you what else I got for that. But on its own, them herby potatoes are one pound nine, so they're going to be the lowest price knowing what I've got the other two. So they're a quid, one pound nine pence. And I went to get a quiche. Obviously, I can't get like quiche, um, any quiches that aren't vegetarian. So I had to go with a, a cheese and onion quiche. And this is the most expensive item I went, I got from the supermarket. £2.75 for a quiche. £2.75, they used to be the cheapest things. I ain't had one for years, like I said. I generally only have it. Now, listen to this. When I was younger, we used to have quiche, mashed potato and tomato soup over the top. Is that disgusting? That was like one of my mum and dad's council house meals, I suppose. And that's what we used to have. But that's probably because these were these were bloody cheap then. They're not anymore. Two pounds seventy five, and that's the Morrison's own. That's the cheapest one. They range up to like four and a half quid. Absolutely disgusting. But it's vegetarian, and I fancied it, and I'm doing a challenge, so you know, I went for it. So I'm going to put this salad together. In fact, come down here and have a look at this. Uh, see what I got. No, I'll, in fact, I'll put it all together and then we'll uh, we'll go through it when it's on the plate. You'll know what I mean about council house salad when you look at this salad. <laughs> There's me getting ready to plate the salad up and I forgot to boil the eggs. So let them boil. I'm only going to have one on this plated salad. Um, the other two are going to be for something else probably tomorrow. But I thought I might as well boil them all at the same time. And then we'll get into this. Okay, so while the eggs boil, let me just show you what I've got in this uh, this this salad tub. Obviously, I've got all that iceberg lettuce there, which I piled on top of. We've got some coleslaw, some cherry tomatoes. We've got some um, cucumber. We've got some sweet corn. We've got a Moroccan falafel. We've got some Mexican style rice uh, and some mixed peppers. And I think that that is everything. Oh no, there's some red onions under there. You can see them in there. There's some red onions. So you get all that and the side of that samosa and a bottle of pop for four pound. That is not too bad that. Um, I never even thought that you could get the salad boxes on a meal deal. I always thought you have to get a sandwich or a, a pasta pot or something. So something to note. Now I did see, like I said earlier, I did see a hack where you can just get cheese. You can just get a full pot of cheese here, and I think it's when you put it into. I think it's, it works out cheaper than actually buying the grated cheese. I don't buy grated cheese. I grate it myself because it's a lot cheaper buying a block. So it is what it is. Right, I'll plate this up. You guys take a close look at this. I know what you're thinking, it's missing one thing, salad cream. It's on the table, don't worry. So, that looks pretty good to me. Lots of variety, which is really, really important when you're, especially when you're eating something that you're not eating very often. Like, if I'm gonna do a vegetarian challenge, this is the sort of stuff that I like. So, 
have still got some salad in here. I did keep some peppers, some tomatoes, some cucumber, some sweet corn, some lettuce, um, some onion. So that is not all the salad. So this meal deal is actually a really good deal. Um, I also kept half of the herby, baby, herby potatoes for another meal later on. And like you saw there, I have boiled two extra eggs for something different. So this challenge goes on. Um, this is dinner time, so let's get this to the table. This is looking good, man. This is my sort of dinner on a warm summer's day. This is a sort of dinner. Now, full disclosure, this would have ham on it normally for me, just like cheap sliced ham. Um, that would be, and probably not this Mexican rice or the falafel because normally we'd buy all these in, uh, items individually. Back in day I'm talking about, not now. So let's get to the table and give it a taste. Just a quick snap for Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, I'll put it there, bosh, at just.dino. Go follow the Instagram. You see pictures like this before the videos get uploaded. So, I'm gonna just put some pepper on here, some ground black pepper. love black pepper and then of course it wouldn't be a council estate salad without boom salad cream none of this fancy dressing garlic and herb caesar salad honey and mustard french dressing we go salad cream drizzle it all over on everything beautiful now i know what you're going to say in the comments that makes it unhealthy but it also makes it tasty. That elevates everything for me. My dad has chip butters with that on. <laughs> I only have it on salad or cheese sandwiches maybe. That's, a, that's about as far as I go. Right, I'm gonna try this uh, Mexican style rice, what came out of the, um, the Morrison's salad bar. Ooh, it's got a bit of a kick that. Now, it did say vegan on the uh, on the label yeah I don't mind that it's all right might need a bit of a I don't know if I would dream I dreamt this or did someone say try the crucials yogurt and mint sauce on salad hmm I'm not so sure right Moroccan falafel never had one of these before I put salad cream on it but I'm gonna just cut it off on its own just to see what it's all about this is obviously veg this is vegetarian as well well, that it's got a it's dry without the sauce. That would really suit the um, yogurt and mint sauce. So yeah, I'd have, I'd have that again with the yogurt sauce. Obviously, it's got salad cream on here now though. I don't mind it. Herby potatoes. Look at them. Still got another half of these. Yeah, they're beautiful. Them herb potatoes microwave. You can't beat them. Cheese and onion quiche. Like I said, I haven't had quiche for absolutely donkey's years. And that's because it's blooming expensive. £2.75 for a quiche. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've missed it. Right, the rest of it, you obviously, you've had a million times before. Egg, lettuce, cheese, peppers. So I'm going to finish this uh, so it's, this video is not four hours long because I don't know how many days I'm going to run this into. So I'll see you guys at tea time. Um, yeah, and I'll scram this. See you at tea time. Or dinner, if you're uh, from down south. <laughs> okay, so it's tea time. Day one, and I'll be honest, I'm not even that hungry. Uh, currently, let's see if we can get back on. Seven minutes to seven, which is pretty late for tea. Um, that salad that I had today was so, it was so nice and it was so filling that I haven't even felt hungry. So I'm only gonna have a bit of a little, a little tea tonight. So I am gonna just have a bit of salad with 
the vegetable samosa finish off my yogurt and mint sauce I don't have a lot left but it does say veggie on that as well so that's good um, and then I got these um, chili and garlic potato wedges that was in that three for two offer um, the price of them on their own £2.50 and there is a chipotle mayo in there as well but you just air fry these it does serve two but as you can see on there it does say vegetarian so should be nice we'll have a little samosa and some wedges and a little side salad and we'll get some yogurt and mint sauce with this samosa i'm probably going to put it on the side salad as well it's not going to be much of a side salad because i do want to try keep some for tomorrow because I've, I've got a, i've got an actual a vegetarian dish tomorrow um, which i was going to have tonight but i'm just not it's too much food for me so it will be tomorrow's tea so if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video before we get there just in case you don't like it i'm putting it all in one video this i don't care if it's two days or three days um, i don't think it'll be more than three days but i'm putting it all in one video and you're going to see it on sunday you don't i have read the comments on the longer videos the budget videos and you guys say on the weekend bang the longer videos out so that's what i'm going to try to do sundays are going to be the budget challenges and things like that right I'm going to get cooking this because that, that's going to go in the oven. Air fryer, sorry. This one says cooked in 30 minutes. But it does say suitable for air frying as well on there. So, chilli and herb coated potato wedges with a chipotle mayonnaise. Um, how to cook. Oven, air fry. Set air fry to 180. Remove all packaging and place sachet to one side. Spread wedges evenly. Cook for 20-25 minutes. Shake halfway through. No problem. I'll get cooking. And then we'll uh, we'll take a look at it. Look at these. They look pretty good, don't they? Ooh, hope they're not too spicy. I am going to not... It does serve two. It says serves two there. So I'm actually going to uh, just put half of them in the air fryer. So let's get them cooking. So they're in the air fryer. 20-25 minutes. I'm just going to put the rest into a Tupperware tub with that Chipotle mayo. And we'll uh, we'll have it tomorrow. So we we'll, won't be trying the chipotle mayo today. We'll try that with tomorrow's dish because this is actually a side for tomorrow's dish as well. See if you can guess what tomorrow's dish is. Put it in the comments. It's a proper it's a proper meal more than just this, right? I'll bring you back when it's done. Obviously, that's got twenty minutes. The vegetable samosa will only take. It says fourteen to sixteen minutes actually in the oven i think it'll take like five minutes in the air fryer i'm just going to put it on this rack above the chips above the wedges so yeah i'll get it all cooking and i'll bring you back when it's ready to eat okay so it's ready come and have a look at this there we go look at that the chili wedges Vegetable samosa and a bit of a side salad. Not looking too bad, is it? Right, let's get to the table and have a taste. Right then, there we go. Now let's try this crucial yogurt and mint sauce on a bit of salad. Now I know it's good with the samosa, so I'm just gonna, I'm running out though. I'm just gonna put it all over and we'll put it on the salad as well. It's nearly over. Get it all over here. Run out. Right then, let's give it a taste. These chilli and garlic wedges. Look at that. Look good. What were these? £2.50. Remember, serves two, so that's half there. £1.25 for that. The uh, samosa was part of the meal deal for £4, what I got all the salad for. So I'm not sure how much it actually cost this, but probably a couple of quid. It looks good and it's quite light. Um, I probably did this the wrong way around. Maybe I should have had that salad. I don't know. These The dinner and tea, lunch and dinner, depending on where you are in the country, probably could have um, been either way. Two really good meals, this. Like I say, I'm not that hungry, but if I don't eat now, I'll be eating. I'll be hungry at about 10 o'clock tonight. So I thought, eat this and then you don't, because you don't want to be eating just before you go to bed. It's not good. Right, let's give it a taste. That's 
That's actually some really nice wedges. I'm getting more garlic than I am uh, chilli, which is good for me. Hmm. They're decent. Right. Vegetable samosa. Not normally my go-to. Normally I'd be a chicken tikka samosa or something like that, or a, or a lamb samosa. But, we'll give it a go. Piping hot there, you can see. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's nice that. With all that, um, look at that. All your peas and your, like, curry powder and things like that in there. Hmm. Actually goes quite well together to say, that's like an Indian and that's like a, I don't know, would we say Mexican? Right, salad with the yogurt and mint crucials. Like I said earlier, I don't know if I dreamt this, but someone said, try it, you might never look back. So here we go. Salad with the yogurt and mint crucials. You know what? If it was you who said it, let me know in the comments who, who said it. That's actually quite surprising. I like it, especially with like these other parts of the meal. It wouldn't be my go-to on just a salad. I still prefer salad cream. I don't know if that's just the, the council estate boy in me, but overall, yeah. I like it with these wedges and samosa. It's good to not have salad cream because that wouldn't really go with samosa and uh, wedges. But, all in all, this is a cracking meal. Can't get the lettuce on the fork. On today too, I'll finish this and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, day two of being a vegetarian. Um, keeping it really simple today, we've got an appointment very early so it's like only half seven in the morning. I'm just having some toast and a nice cup of tea. Tea and toast, can't beat it. So there's not really much to show you here just that we are on today too. And tonight's evening meal is gonna be something that I've never tried before. So keep watching, don't go anywhere. And uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a picture on screen now of how you like your toast. Every, you'll see this on social media everywhere. You've got like a one to five and it's like how cooked do you have it. The settings on the, um, on the toaster, one, two, three, four, and five. I did you know, I didn't know, that's actually Minutes, not setting, not a setting. So, yeah, right. I'll show you how I have mine. You tell me how you have yours. So that's how I have mine. <laughs> Quite lightly done with a nice helping of Nord Pack, not Lur Pack. We're not millionaires. Can't beat it. Right, I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Okay, so it is lunchtime and I'm actually sharing this one with Mrs. Dino. Now you're not expecting me to say that on a vegetarian challenge, are you? But it's very, very simple. We've got a tin of tomato soup from Aldi. Um, one of your five a day there. Where does it say vegetarian? It does say on the back there, dietary advice suitable for vegetarians. I don't know if that's going to focus, but if it doesn't, you have to take my word for it. And we've got these garlic baguettes from Iceland. So we're going to share one of these and have half a bowl of soup each. Now, 
That is because just making sure that this is suitable for vegetarians. Hmm. Doesn't actually. Oh yeah, it does. Suitable for vegetarians. It says it on the back there. I, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Do you know what I mean? But it just, just to clarify. Right. So yeah, we're uh, we're having half a tin of soup each and half a garlic baguette just to just to dip in it. Um, yeah, nice and simple lunch. And I'm having a small lunch today. I made the mistake yesterday of having that big salad. Um, and actually, I'll be honest, I struggled to finish that uh, wedges um, samosa and, uh, salad for my tea. So I don't want that to happen today because I've got an actual product today. If you haven't guessed, make sure you've guessed in the comments before we get to tea tonight. Right. I'm probably just going to put that in the microwave. That in the air fryer. One of, one of them in the air fryer, sorry. And now uh, we'll get it served up. You guys have a little look. I'll meet you at the table. We'll have a taste. I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? It's tomato soup and a garlic baguette. But, like I said, the big meal is coming tonight. So, stay tuned. And if you haven't already liked it, if you haven't already liked this video, like it now. Um, no, I won't say that. I was going to say something stupid then. I'm going to say if it got a certain amount of likes... We'll do an actual full-on vegan challenge, but that would be pretty hard. <laughs> right, I'll get cooking this, and I'll see you at the table. So nice and simple, half a tin of soup, and a bit of a garlic baguette. Probably a little bit overdone that baguette, but it'll be right dipped into the soup. Let's get to the table and have a taste. Okay, so we've got this Bramwell's tomato soup. It is what it is. It's just the same as every other generic tomato soup. Don't mind it. Um, garlic bread. Probably a little bit overdone. In fact, massively overdone. Um, I ruined it. Oh well. But if you dip it into this tomato soup, honestly, I mean, cheesy garlic bread would be even better for me. But uh, Mrs. Dino doesn't like cheese, so I can't put cheese in all the slices while it's cooking. No, scrap that, it's not overdone. Nice, crispy, beautiful. Right, there's not really much to see here. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm gonna finish my lunch. The big one's coming now. So I'll see you guys at tea time. And if you haven't guessed what I'm having, do it now before we get there. Okay, so it's tea time, and blooming heck, the, the weather doesn't know what it wants to do. It was so dull and miserable at lunchtime, and now the sun's come out. Typical British summertime, absolutely no idea what it wants to do. Anyway, tea time. Like I said earlier, this one is going to be um, an actual product that I'm trying. Um, we are going to have the rest of those Chilean, Chilean garlic wedges. Uh, I'm going to have some beans, as you can see, so we're vegetarian. I'm going to have a few beans, not the full tin. Saving probably three quarters of that tin for something else. And I've got a corn lasagna. And that was £2. So, powered by mycoprotein. It's 300 grams. No soy. It says... Meat-free minced, made with mycoprotein myco in a bolognese sauce, layered with pasta and topped with vegetable sauce and cheddar cheese. And it does say, Vegetarian Society approved. Bosh. So, two quid. So, we're having lasagna, wedges and beans. Very simple, but hopefully, normally, this would be a really nice meal, but... Basically, what I'm trying to is uh, to see what this corn lasagna is like, isn't it? Because I'll be honest, I am craving like food that I I usually eat, and lasagna is one of my favourites. So we'll see what this ends up being like. Um, calories, two hundred and eighty-one calories in that. I didn't do. Um, I haven't counted any calories and things. I, I doubt if I'd hit two thousand calories each day, to be honest. But. Um, yeah, if you want me to try in the next one, next challenge, something like that, if you want me to try count the calories and things like that, then uh, maybe I do. But when you're having something like the salad that I had yesterday, like 
you've got to weigh every single, like if I'm putting three slices of cucumber on, weighing it and then Googling it. It's a lot of work to get all the, 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 um, all the calories and things like that, but it is what it is. We're going for this today. Corn lasagna, wedges and baked beans. Obviously you can have some garlic bread as well, which I normally would with lasagna, but I'm not bothered today because obviously we had garlic bread with the soup. So let's go for it. Okay, so that is the corn lasagna. Looks a bit anemic, a bit a bit green if I'm honest, but it is what it is. We've got to give it a go. So I'll get it onto a plate. We'll get the wedges out and the beans are done. Give it a taste. Okay, so it's all ready. I have uh, added a little bit of that chipotle mayo on the side. So we've got the corn lasagna, chili and garlic wedges with a little bit of chipotle mayo and some baked beans. Vegetarian friendly. Tea, day two. Have a look at this and then I'll see you at the table. Now I did add a bit of pepper and a little bit of butter into the beans because it makes them absolutely nice, creamy, nicely flavoured. That's the chipotle mayo right there. Looks good. Obviously, there's absolutely loads of these chilli and garlic wedges. It says surf two in that, but that's the second portion that has been massive. And that is the corn lasagna, which you've already seen. So, overall, what do you think to that? Doesn't matter what it looks like, does it? It's all about the taste. Okay. It's all important taste time, isn't it? So... I'm just going to try this uh, chipotle mayo with these wedges. Obviously, you've, you've seen me have these wedges before, so you know that they're, they're pretty damn nice, if I'm honest. More garlicky than um, chilli, which I like. But we'll get this chipotle mayo on one and see what this is like. Oh, now the mayo's got a bit more of a kick than the, <clears throat> than the, um, than the actual wedges. But it's really nice. You know what I got? Um, I make these cheesy wedges, loaded wedges, and have this chipotle mayo. Be absolute fire. Wow. Like I said in there, I was cooking my baked beans, and I always used to say beans are beans, but a little bit of pepper and a little bit of butter when you're cooking them, oh, it gives it that nice... Beautiful flavour, makes them more creamy, peppery. These Ali beans are just, um, they're a bit sweeter than other beans, I think. Anyway, we're not bothered about beans, are you? You're bothered about this corn lasagna. Microwaved in eight minutes, remember? So, now, normally I'd probably, when I'm doing a normal microwave lasagna, I'll probably add a coat of cheese at the top just because it never it never comes out like a, a good lasagna, does it? But because it's a corn one and I want to taste it as it is, I haven't done that today, so I'm just going to give this a go. There's not that many layers, like two or three layers, maybe not even that. Obviously no mince, it's pretend mince or fake mince, whatever corn mince is. It's absolutely red hot, so I'm hoping not to burn myself. So it even looks like mint. But it's got like a little bit of a... It's an unusual taste for me. It's like a bitter. Like where, where you're expecting the, that beef taste to be. It's like a bitter... A bitter style beef taste. What I never understand is why are they trying to recreate meat products with uh, vegetarian products. I could have just got a vegetable lasagna. Probably saved myself up some money as well. Probably got a Morrison's own one or a Iceland one for a quid. I have had them before. And unlike this where it's trying to look like mince. Like in here. Check this out. So you see how it's trying to look like mince rather than just be vegetables. It's not, yeah, it's not, I don't understand it. Why impersonate meat when you're trying not to have meat? It's like, 
obviously I got hit on that um, video, the Too Good To Go, when it, that, that this isn't chicken and stuffing. But why? I mean, I did obviously reply to some comments and say, it would probably wouldn't sell. It's probably a selling point, isn't it? That's the only thing I can think of because if they're um, if they advertise it as a, a pea protein and vegan mayonnaise sandwich, it doesn't sound as appealing as chicken and stuffing. Do you know what I mean for a sandwich? So I'm not sure. Maybe it's to trick some people into eating that, thinking it's chicken and stuffing. It's just not. I don't know. Marketing is not my expertise, of course. Is what it is. This corn lasagna. Um, it's not bad. It's just, it's got like a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. It tastes like every other generic cheap lasagna. Now this was two quid, but I think it were on offer down from £3.50. I did find that the vegetarian products were expensive compared to like other, like the, the normal, say normal, the meat products. More expensive to get vegetarian products than it is to get the meat products. I don't understand it, to be honest. But, if there's a reason for that, let me know. Maybe it's because it's not made in bulk or something as much as a normal uh, meat product. I don't know. I'm going to finish this. Um, we're going on to day three. We're going to do, so this video is now going to be, I was going to do two days, but I've still got some, I've still got a day's worth of food in there. So I might as well show you one more day. Like Rocky said, I didn't hear no bell. One more round. I've got this far, 48 hours. I can get to 72. Let's do it. Three days as a vegetarian. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, it is day three of being a vegetarian. Uh, and today I'm having a slightly different breakfast. I've got a nice cup of tea. Um, and obviously I could have had the multigrains that I had on day one, which I actually didn't show you. Um, what did I have yesterday? Can I remember? Oh, I just had toast yesterday. Uh, today I'm having a, a nice little chocolate muffin. Look at that, a little chocolate muffin. So, vegetarian, we're looking for that sign. The girls have, uh, girls love these. So, we're having them. They used to be cheap. We used to get them all the time when uh, Dean and daughter were a bit younger. And we don't really go to Boris's all that often now, but they used to be really cheap. Used to be, I think it used to be at like a quid or one pound 20 for, for four of them. Um, now, Where are we? Oh, no, they must have been. They're £1.50 now. But I'm sure they used to be like 99p or something. Like not so long ago. I'm not talking about years. I'm talking about this is quick. But that's quite cheap. I thought they were more expensive than that, actually. I don't know if that were an offer. Hmm. I'm sure they were £1.80. Anyway, it says £1.50 on receipt, so I must be wrong. Chocolate chip muffins, vegetarian. Breakfast of champions. A small breakfast, a small dinner because I've got a nice big tea coming. Um, that's what they look like. Chocolate chip muffins, you can't beat them. And uh, a cup of tea. When I always see, when I see muffins like this, it always reminds me of Turner and Hooch. When uh, Turner throws the muffin over and Hooch is eating it. If you haven't seen that film, wow. Uh, a lot of my age demographic should have seen that film. What a film, by the way. So I'm going to eat this. Probably not the healthiest of breakfast. I did see the nutrition there, three three reds. But they're beautiful muffins, aren't they? Mm. I mean, my go-to would be a blueberry muffin. But because of the girls, like the chocolate chunk ones, as, as with most things in my life, I just go, whatever you want, girls, whatever you want. <laughs> right, I'll go have my breakfast and I'll see you at lunchtime. Okay, it's lunchtime. Let's get them muffins out of the way. I'm getting the bread out, so can you guess what I'm having? I was originally going to have a jack of potato with cheese and beans. Um, because when I had the chilli on the jack of potato, when I did the dynamite hot stag chilli, um, I thought, oh, these jack of potatoes are quite nice. And I've still got a, a couple in the freezer. Microwaveable jack of potatoes, you know I'm lazy. Anyway, because I used a quarter of a tin of beans yesterday with the lasagna, I've got three quarters of beans and I'm going to use that as cheese and beans. But I've changed my mind because I've still got them two eggs, two extra eggs that I boiled. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it nice and simple because this video, I'm editing 
it as I go along and I think we're currently at about 37, 38 minutes so you don't want to be here all day do you so we're nearly at the end now so stick with me and thank you everyone if you've got this far I'm just going to make a quick egg sandwich egg mayonnaise sandwich I'm going to use the two boiled eggs and Crucial's smooth mayo now sometimes I, I use salad cream instead of um, mayo for egg and salad cream sandwiches or what we used to do as a ki or kids used to have egg in a cup just with salad cream and then just eat it with a spoon is that disgusting <laughs> you have to blame my parents because it, it was it's their idea right i'll make a little uh, egg mayo sandwich and uh, i'll give you a look at it but it's an egg mayo sandwich at the end of the day even to this day i still mix my uh Egg mayo in a cup. <laughs> but this is mayo, not salad cream. So, I'll butter this bread. And make a sarnie. There we go. I know it looks like the most boringest food in the world, but I promise you, you can't beat an egg mayo sandwich. Bread. Vegan, it says there. Vegan bread. It was just normal bread. <laughs> right. Egg mayo butter, look at that, you can't beat that. I did put a little bit of pepper in it as well. Mm. <laughs> you know what? You know when you go to parties and they've got buffets and it's got like little half, half like uh, tea cakes, half rolls. Egg mayo is my favourite. <laughs> Just lacking a bit of cress. Or watercress or whatever it's called. <coughs> Love egg mayo. Sometimes the simplest stuff is the best. Right. Tea tonight is not simple. One more meal. Thank you to everyone who's got to this point. I appreciate it. I know it's a long video. You guys did say you like these challenges in one video in the comments. Um, so I've just <laughs> cracked it all in one. Right, I'll see you at tea time. An interesting one. Okay, the final meal has arrived. And this one is going to be something special. We're having these ready-to-roast Mediterranean-style vegetables. Look at that. And that is the third item in that three-for-two offer there. So we got this. We got the chili and garlic wedges that you've seen earlier in the video, and we got the herby baby potatoes that you've also seen earlier in the video. So, obviously, the, the potatoes were the free one, one pound nine pence. Um, let me just check how much this was for you guys. On its own, this Mediterranean style vegetable would be one ninety nine. It's not too bad. The only issue I would have is normally I buy this from Aldi. I think it's a pretty similar price, but it comes in a metal tray that you can actually roast it in. This one from uh, Morrison's doesn't so you can't roast it in this of course so you have to roast them in your own tray which means a bit of washing up uh, or dishwasher in my case yeah so that's what we're having we're having that but I'm not just gonna have that now normally obviously this is a vegetarian challenge but normally I like this Mediterranean style veg with a nice steak it's fantastic um, however because it's a vegetarian dish we're having this, I'm going to roast this for a while. Well, I'm going to roast it for until it's basically done. And then I'm going to add it to a pasta. We've got this fusilli from the uh, bud, last budget challenge still. Uh, and I've also got this Dolmio bolognese sauce, smooth tomato or tomato, whatever you want to call it. And this one does say it's 95% vegetables. And it does say on the back somewhere, because I've read it, suitable for vegetarians. So... We're going to have, I'm probably not going to use all that because uh, Dino Dota has got some, we've got some mint in there and Dino Dota is going to have an actual spaghetti bolognese tomorrow. So I'll just make, well, I'll make as much as it, the, the veg warrants. So I've also got a little bit of salad in there, which actually left from that meal deal salad box, which actually is not much. I'll just throw that in as well. It's just a, a few more peppers and onions and a bit of sweet corn. So I'll just throw that into roast as well. Right. I'm going to do the lot because, like I said, it's only me going to be eating it. Um, yeah, make a nice little tub. Probably have a meal today, 
and probably a meal tomorrow. So technically, this could have gone four days, but it's not a budget challenge, so it doesn't matter because, like I said a, previous, a few times in this video, it's quite expensive being a vegan, a vegetarian. God knows about vegan. Oh, God. If this video gets a thousand likes, 1,000 likes, I'll do the same again for vegan next month. Vegan only, not vegetarian, vegan. Now I'll have to do a bit of research, so that'll be in September. Anyway, let's crack on. I'll get these in a little roasting dish and uh, get the pasta made and we'll, we'll figure it out. So I just finished them off in the uh, in the pan, and look at that! Looks absolutely phenomenal. The pasta's done now, so it's just time to add the dolmio, and it'll all be ready. And here is the finished product. Right, let me get it on a plate. And we'll have a taste now. There is definitely two portions here, and more than likely three. I always make too much when it comes to pasta. But it is what it is. It is the weekend now, so it won't get wasted. I've just got an easy, nice Tupperware tubbed vegetable, vegetarian pasta. Happy days. Right, let me get it plated up and I'll see you at the table. We'll give this bad boy a taste. Okay. So I have sprinkled some cheese over the top, but I can already feel how soft these vegetables are. You've got that pasta. This is one heck of a way to end this vegetarian uh, vlog. Mm. These Mediterranean vegetables, cherry tomatoes, um, Aubergine, peppers, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Nice tomato-y dormio, obviously that's pretty um, expensive. I think that were two for three quid from Iceland. Fusilli pasta, not too bad. Overall, this is a cracker and it's a good job I'm enjoying it because I've got two more portions in there. Wow. Actually enjoying this. This is like really nice. I proper like this style of um, pasta. Sometimes mince just gets boring. Sometimes, doesn't it? Especially when I make it because I make loads. I'll be back. Let my dog in. Okay, Sandy's in. I left him in the garden. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is nice. I don't mind some. Meals like this, I don't mind. What I don't get is, it's just choosing somewhere to lie down. What I don't get is when the products are trying to be something else, like the lasagna. I could, I think I wouldn't have got the lasagna again. I would have just got a vegetable lasagna where you can actually see the vegetables like this. Bosh, bosh, bosh. You know what I mean? Rather than it just pretending to be mint. I don't understand that. Um, but like the salad, Probably my favourite out of the whole lot. I ain't had that since I was a kid like that. Uh, this is probably the second favourite. Obviously, breakfast items are just plain old breakfast items. So, that's it for another another video. A long one for the weekend for you guys. Hope you have a great Sunday. Um, I'm finishing filming this on Friday night. So, Man United and Man City tomorrow in the Charity Shield. I'll be out to watch that. Hopefully a good result for the, the red half of Manchester. Right. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. 63% of you who watch the videos are not subscribed to the channel. If every single one of you who are watching the videos subscribe to the channel, we wouldn't be on 15,000. We'd be on 50. So if you haven't done it already, please do it. It absolutely makes a massive difference. Uh, and thank everyone for watching and the comments. Hope you've, you, in this video, you must have commented a few times, right? Because I've asked you a few questions. So I will reply to every single comment. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.